Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review. And today we're going to talk about The Fall by Noel Quilter. Before I do this, can you please like and subscribe? Check out onlinemagic.co. Over 800 tutorials now, 10 years in the making, my life's work, and I still add to it every single week by uploading the live sessions that happen every week uh, on Zoom and also many, many other courses on magic within the course. Anyway, let's get on with it. Oh, that's onlinemagic.co. And like and subscribe, of course, and talk about the channel, but only in a positive way, please, because I have feelings. I'm a human being, and it hurts me when people say bad things. Right. Um, <laughs> when I got this, right, well, okay, let's go, let's look at what we're doing here. Yes, this is a review of No Quilter's The Fall, but it's more than that because there are things you have to know about this. So it's a review, it's currently sold out everywhere, but, you know, this will be up for a while, so you'll be able to get it, but, but, um, there are some copies on Noel's website, so do um, use the link below. It's free shipping worldwide, and uh, you get some lecture notes, the physical lecture notes from Blackpool 2022. So, that's that. There's a lot to say on this, but I don't want to make this a really long video, so do comment and ask questions underneath. This is for people who have got it, this is for people who want to buy it, and this is for people who have questions, which I'm sure there will be many. First of all, let's have a look at the trailer. I'm not going to watch it all. It's five minutes long, but I will comment a bit. And then I'm going to show you um, my little journey with this, because there has been a journey, uh, which is kind of why I'm talking about it. So, here's the trailer. So I was doing some filming the other day, so, and I got a message. I'm not going to write what's the risk, but this is Matthew Wright kind of saying he got a message from Noel. No, we A table or a handkerchief or something like that. I'm going to show you the exact bag. magic magic pops in the pocket. Mm -hmm. That's nice. So this walk around. The is there for me for a moment. Interesting. Grab there for me for a moment. Perfect. Here's ah, the idea. It's good. It's good. I've just realised you're watching someone watching someone's response to someone's trick. It's very meta, isn't it? Um, People involved. So that's quite cool. David Blaine, who years ago did uh, an amazing trick where he took a deck of cards and had uh, somebody choose a playing card. Playing relevance. And he threw the deck of cards at the window and the card that they chose fell through the window. We're going to try Right, that's definitely on top on of the budget. window. Put your hands underneath. On the count of three, one, two. Whoa! Three. Right, so that's the effect. I'm not going to watch the whole uh, thing. I'll scrub through it and they liked it very much. He talks about it, gets into sending one, and it's all very good. Um, so let's see what it says here. Hang on a minute. Okay. It is by Noel Quarter, that's true. <laughs> it is hyper visual. visual. <laughs> Easy to do, we're going to come back to that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the? Okay. Okay, live performance or social media, good for social media if you're careful. You'll notice that they're, they're in there, and I haven't talk, talked to Noel at all about the trailer. But you'll notice that the, you, you kind of, at the beginning bit, you go, I want to see more of it. There's a reason for that. And this isn't, it isn't deceptive, but there's part of this that uses misdirection. We're going to go into little bits of the method on this, okay, because I think it's important. I'm not going to expose the whole thing. But we're going to go into this because I want people that have got it to, to again, understand where I've been with it. Social media, again, you've got to be careful which bits you film and you're going to have to edit. Again, not for deception. And it is walk around. It, as he says on the download, it's not good for stage. In parlour, if you were going to walk into the audience, you could do it, but you don't want to be, there's, a, there's an angle thing. There's not a lot of angle problems with this, but this is a walk around trick where you've got people standing up and people can hold the corners of that bit of plastic or uh, acetate. Okay, so, and that's the moment. 
So there's the trailer. The trailer is, that's the trick. I've seen Noel do this. I've now done it a lot. I've spent hours and, <laughs> and way too many hours with this. And I'll tell you why. It says easy to do. It kind of is, but it kind of isn't. Now this requires no sleight of hand. So in that way, it's easy to do. But you're not gonna be able to get it, go straight out with it and perform it. And this is kind of why, I'm, I'm making this video for two reasons. Because of that, and because you need to tell a couple of things, that's two, isn't it? Um, but there's already another one. Also, because of, I like it, I really, really like it. And my feeling is people are gonna get this, they're gonna get it, go, it's not easy to do and put it in the drawer. And I want you not to do this. Again, because of what I've experienced just today, getting the nerve to go out and perform this to people just around here. I'm going to dry cleaners and I'm going to show you that a bit of that footage too. So this is one of those tricks that if you are not a performer, you're going to worry about whether you're going to get away with it. There are a few moments in this and I've written it down to make sure um, I don't forget anything. One of them is something you have to have on your person when you, not your person as in the person you choose you that's just a silly way of saying you isn't it on you <laughs> um to be able to do part of this trick it is going to feel like that is unsafe and unsecure it re not insecure that's me it really isn't i've been walking around with this thing and i get clammy hands sweaty hands like if it's not going to work for anybody it's not going to work for me i've had that thing on all morning you know and and Noel takes this into consideration. There are ways of, he, he has this really clever idea of how you can have it on the box, then it goes on to where it needs to go. Um, I don't think you need any of that. I think it's a really nice touch, but for me, I'm just gonna bang on it before I go, and I know it's gonna stay there. Get over that quickly. You're gonna be fine. Walk around with it. It's, it's absolutely, that's the first worry. I wanna tick that off. And I'm not affiliated. I said to Noel, I'm gonna be very honest about this. Noel is a friend of mine, but I said, if I'm gonna talk about it, I need to talk about, um, the reality of, of this because it's not a cheap thing you know um the it's called a card through a window and people come some people say well, it's not a window it's a bit of plastic you can do this with acetate you know the, and, and you can't do it with a window but you talk about it as the card through window trick and actually what i've been saying is that i'm working on a trick actually where a car goes through a window and i've got one at the moment because i can't walk around with a window so can you help me with this you know he Talks about the card through window, David Blaine beforehand, which I think is a good idea. I think it's quite a funny idea to say it's a budget version because it is pretty much the same trick. It's going through something solid and you can see the penetration. So it's kind of the same trick, but it, yes, it's not a window and you cannot do it with a thick piece of glass. You need to do it with either the bag or a piece of thin acetate, which you can get very, very cheaply. And my initial thought was you need to do it with the acetate. Actually, no, I don't think so now. I think there's something nice. I've tried it with both. There's something nice about unfolding that tatty bit of plastic and creating incredible magic with it. So that's the other thing. The main, uh, and the depositing of the card. Now I've left it in my performance in a minute. So it kind of exposes what happens afterwards because I want you to see where they're looking. You have got all the time in the world. And, at, and for some people that aren't, again, been, haven't been performing for long, you're gonna think they're gonna see me. I've done it before by putting the deck down, because basically you deposit back onto the deck like a snap change kind of thing. I've done it before where uh, earlier on today, when I put the deck down because I was kind of trying to maneuver them and I didn't pick it up again. And then when it went through, I just got rid of the thing I needed to get rid of. I just put it in my pocket. It, there's just no heat and you'll see in a minute. But we have to talk about the move. And this is the bit that people are going to struggle with the most. There is a way of depositing a card where you need it to be. You're going to know what I mean. And this uses the main gimmick that's built into this, which when I first saw it, I thought was just really contrived and weird. The more I've used it and since performing with it, I've realized it's, I was going to say genius, but it's overused, but it's really, really clever. There is a moment you you have to do something in this trick where you go, surely they're going to think, why am I doing that? What's that got to do with anything? Actually, I'll tell you, I was putting a deck of cards under the thing and doing something. I was worried about this and I was thinking, I'm just, I just can't feel when this is going to feel right. I took it out, which is not on the video, failed five times in doing that bit that you have to do, which is going to worry you getting things into place. And afterwards, they still said, I still couldn't work out how he did it. And I was completely, I was like, are you joking? I've literally, because this was someone I knew and I said, you're going to see this, please don't tell anybody. I sort of chatted to them. 
They still didn't know. I was there fumbling around for ages in front of them and they didn't know. That's 100% true. I'm not making this up. This is sold out everywhere, so I don't have to help Noel sell this. But it's because of that again why you need to know. If you relax when you do this thing and they're looking at it, there is just for some reason that is beyond me, there is no suspicion. Because I think it's because you're manoeuvring things and this is the key, and I'm going to record a little teaching thing because for me this isn't taught enough on the on the download because Noel's been doing it for so long he's forgotten it. Because he, this was a year ago, this was Blackpool, for he was selling it. And now, of course, it's getting a major release. When I, I was so worried about that move that I've, I knew that I had to do it slowly because I practised a lot with it. To, and how to practise this is, a dip, is another thing as well. That I, I went, you've got to do this slowly. You can't rush this. Your tendency is to rush because you feel guilty. And then I took it out and it still wasn't taking. It wasn't working. And I was going, why isn't this working? Why didn't that work? For, in practice, it's every time. And I watched a video. And even though I didn't think I was rushing, I realised on the video I was just subconsciously. So you've just got to do it really, really slowly. And I promise you, for some reason, it just flies. I've taken it out today and the reactions are wonderful. I've Two, because you've got these different people, I couldn't get people to film. So I've got two times where I could stand it up on something to film. But it's really, really strong. So I'll show you my little journey with it now. So that's, this is me in the kitchen. So this is another important thing, why I put this on here. A lot of people are going to have trouble how to practice with this. Because you've got to get two or four. Actually, I would say two people holding it, one person catching it is your ideal. Okay, one person you can do with acetate, but keep away from one person. You don't want it. You want two people holding it, one person catching it, or two people holding it and it just falls down onto a platform or the floor or something like that. So this is the quickest way I've found. Noel does the thing with bottles and corks and things like this. Get two chairs. This took one minute to get together. You're going to think, oh, it's a right hassle. It's not. It's really, really quick. And I actually really, really enjoyed this process because it was quite challenging. The move you are going to find challenging, even though there's no sleight of hand. You're going to have to practice it. But that's fine. We're magicians. That's what we do. That's why not everybody does what we do. So this is the first sort of bit after a lot of kind of me going through it. And, and this, so interesting, there's a bit cut out of here where I kind of went to do the move and he dropped it and I had to kind of pick it up again, which again was very suspect, but he didn't. Um, uh, th these hadn't been primed these were people that were at their job I went in they don't know me I went look oh, can I try a thing with you and the, her, her reaction was brilliant that would go through there brilliant thank you very much now I want to see that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you better serve him I'll get in trouble sure, yeah, I want you to do it again now I don't have that <laughs> I thought, she, I thought she wasn't impressed and she was completely stunned and afterwards she was just losing it. And this is again, these, these are funny, these are the people that work downstairs for me and they're not having any, they're not going to respond to stuff because again, they're, <laughs> they're great. These are not the people I usually uh, show this to. They, they've seen nothing. That's it. I'm going to give it a little bit like that and it comes down and then we've got the, the card goes straight through. <laughs> oh, what the hell did it just do? Why would we be giving off good vibes? <laughs> what the hell? Right, okay. Brilliant. Right, again, again, again. So, um, so that's the f that's real sort of brutally basic performances of a trick I can't do very well. You see, I was there too long. Actually, you can tap it like that, but I like this thing of of just holding it and it's it's a kind of slow thing. And that's I'm going to do a little tutorial for now because I, I think it needs more teaching on the thing. But the point of this is if you've got this, you get it out and you go, I got so frustrated. And if you're like me, I phoned Niles, like, why can't I do this? And he said, just stay with it. And I did. And it just started working. And if you, when you perform it, just slow, slow, slow. And it just sorts itself out. This is a really... The reason I've worked on this so much, and I shouldn't have because I really haven't got time, is because I really think this is good. I think that you getting that bag out or the acetate or whatever in a close-up situation feels different. It feels weird. You can see they're going, what's going to happen here? It feels different than just doing a card trick. Yes, it's not a signed card. It doesn't matter. Those responses are brilliant. I've got no doubt the responses are going to be brilliant. Um, you, you can force the card or not. You don't have to because the trick is the thing going through the window. I use a kind of riffle force which is super easy because of the nature of how the thing's put together 
but it's going to take practice and that's the thing you need to know it's not going to take five days of practice after an afternoon i kind of had it i kind of worked on it a little bit more and took it out and yeah messed it up a little bit at the beginning but if you do that just remember just try just keep doing it and you'll realize that they don't really know what you're doing and of course when you first perform this take it on don't tell them what's going to happen if when you're really confident yeah you're going it's going to go through the thing but i just didn't want to i just hold out i, did, I wanted them to be guessing and asking questions you're moving them around and you've got all the time in the world to do what you had to do so it's not really a review this it's more of a kind of filling out the stuff that you you, you need to know but also there's going to be more questions so do uh, ask them in the comments below I know this is a bit of a long one and uh, thank you if you're still with me but I think this is I think it's great and it's going to be frustrating for some of you it is not a beginner's trick if it's it's not because you need there's audience management there's all those things but it isn't a sleight of hand trick so don't worry about having lots of slides but you're going to have to handle things and feel confident with that deck of cards to be able to do it and remember the misdirection is so strong you've got half an hour to get rid of that thing you have to get rid of at the end as you would have seen by those right blimey 16 minutes uh take care have a good one remember onlinemagic.co um if you want to buy these at the moment once I think you might be able to get a magic shops. I'm not saying you can't, but if you struggle, um, do look at the links below. Um, Noel's site is tricktrickboom.com or don't get caught, caught, you can have a look. Um, and again, you'll be able to go, go on there for worldwide shipping. Take care. Have a good one. And uh, see you soon. Bye. Which one? That one. <laughs>